So have y'all ever, ever heard, don't judge a book by its cover? Now, there's two parts to that. Judging a book by its cover is basically what makes you pick up the book unless you don't go in there looking for it, right? But once you get out, take the cover off and you get to the book, it should be something like this. Just, you know, not too much designs, full of words type, no pictures really. You know what I mean? Some of them going to have pictures. I'm just saying, but for the most part, this is a best definition of a book. You know what I mean? But yo. But that, that that brings me in to say, what is your book about? Not only what is your book about, what is the cover you're putting on your book? What are you disguising it as? You understand? Like, I'm trying to, because I, I was just thinking, and I'm like all over the place with it, but I said, let's go unscripted. I don't have time to script this up. I just need to talk to the people. Like, listen, literally the book, um... A lot of people's book might be, because I always say people are like movies. What would your movie be? Suspenseful? Will it be romantic? Will it be a thriller? Will it be a puzzle? Will it be, you know what I mean? Action. What's it going to be? A lot of people's movies is different, but their book is the same because this is what they are full of. Some people are full of gold. Some people are full of shit. You understand? Especially your book. What is in your book? When they read chapter one. By the time they get to however many chapter it is, well, hopefully it's a hundred for y'all, a hundred chapters. They're going to be like, yo, I see some progression in this man through his book. This is a book of his life. And okay, started off this. Okay, he started off poor. He started off uh, afraid of things. He started off weak. He started off all this stuff. But then you're going to get to that middle and be like, okay, things are heating up. But the problem is people are not getting to that middle where they are heating up. They're not heating up. It's like chapter one. It's like fucking chapter 10 and 30 and fit. Why are all these chapters the fucking same? That's what I'm saying. Don't judge a book by its cover. There's two truths to that. Like I said earlier, the first truth being that's what makes us pick up the book. But the second truth is you should judge them by that because be damned if you seen some shit and you bought it because it looked beautiful. But when you opened it, it was just it was nothing. It was trash. It wasn't shit. You ain't talking about shit. Repeating the same thing over and over. It was predictable. We knew it was going to happen. And in some of our books, some situations are predictable. Hey, don't mess with this person. You're going down this road. If this happens and that, that this could happen. Not, and then it happens. And you know pretty much exactly how the story going to go. From a relationship with that dude, what she does next, how her life is going to be in 15, 15, 20. We're just reading it to confirm at this point. It's no longer a... Uh, you know, a mystery, unique. This is somebody else's. You became a statistic. Your book. What is your book about? Now, and it's cool if you, if you, chapter 25, you know, you. I would say you're going to have to experience something before you get to like chapter, you know, 20, 25. You got to get some, some stuff got to get interesting, dog. Because like, why am I going to keep reading this book? What is this book going to be about? Like, of course, you're going to get the early life in the early chapters, Right how you was but then we get to the middle school that should have been interesting the elementary that should have been interesting the high school that should have been interesting college should have been very interesting and you coming up right on chapter 25 24 now we like yo from what i've seen these chapters is real short and these motherfuckers just got pictures in here and you know what i mean it's just a whole lot of smoking weed silly thoughts comedy doing this doing like yo Playing the game, talking about like, and this has been the same chapter from fucking 20 or 18 to damn 25. It's seven years, seven chapters later, we still reading the same damn chapters. Come on, man. What does that make somebody do? Close the book on you. They ain't no longer interested in your story until you do something to make them pick that book back up. And that's what you got to do out here. You got to find out if your book is worth reading. Because everybody's book, everybody's book is capable of being worth reading, even the worst ones of us. Even the worst ones that got the most fucked up situations. Hell, their book actually propels their story because so no, so few many people have been through it. And that's why some trauma books, people read them trauma books, them murder books, not yo, yo. They be that's what they be on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I feel like I'm going somewhere with this. Like I said, I'm unscripted right now. It's it's Saturday. Damn, it's 8.33. Got off work. Um, usually I'm free, but 
I got my kids, so tonight, because my wife, she is somewhere working. Um, well, I said somewhere, yeah, I'm going to say somewhere. She at work. Um, but I got the kids on Saturday night watching them both. But, um, yeah, what is your book being about? I'm like, I got to read my own book. I got to go back through my own. You can't erase it. You can't go back and change nothing. It's, nah, that's past. Only thing you can do and have the ability to do is write them chapters in the future. That's it. That's what you got to focus on, writing those chapters that's coming. You have some control of that. Your next few chapters can, chapters can be motivating, inspiring. You're going somewhere. Okay, I'm interested and keep reading this book. I'm going to get a little bit further and see what he's talking about. A little bit further. Uh-oh, I think he got something coming. Oh, he, he actually said no this time. Actually, he's making a different decision. He's going down a different path. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we want to see that. We don't want to see the same thing. How do you feel about movies you've watched and you already know what's going to happen? You're not that interested. And you're probably not impressed because you didn't, like, every story needs to be unique. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, let me see here. Move out my way. Hold on one second. Oh, I've been six minutes. Okay, because I'm like, yeah, I ain't want to come in here and just ramble and talk forever and ever and ever, but that is something that's on my mind, and it's like, yo, why do they say don't judge a book by its cover? That's exactly what I'm going to judge it by. That's exactly. That's going to make me pick it up. And also, that's going to tell me what he lead on. But when I get inside of that book and I start reading through them chapters and I find out this is just some bullshit, this is full of nothing. Nah. I want my money back. That's when people, that, that means they don't want to deal with you. When they want their money back for that damn book, hey, I'm done with you. That book ain't what I thought it was going to be. But some people will pick up that book and read the book. Like, and think about that. Some of the best people learn about other people. Listen to other people. Talk to other people. And that's reading them books. Them ones you walk past on the side of the street and it's a little box in there that says take a book, put a book in there, leave a book, whatever. You swap books so people can just read. It's like a reading club and none of us know each other. Yeah. People that pick up them books and just read them and just like, yeah. But it's another way to read books and that's talking to people now. I'm using books as a figurative speech, kind of like, a, you know, an analogy, but you get what I'm saying. What's in your book? What you going, what you going to put in them upcoming chapters? Go back through your book and read from the pro, the read what you have um, done wrong. Recognize what you have done wrong. So the, the future chapters don't look like that. And that's what a lot of us need to do. Stop getting in these same situations when we know it's going to happen and it ain't going to work out good for us. But that temptation and that thought that maybe it can work, that long shot, that Hail Mary, that uh, miracle, it's not happening, it's not coming. Drop it. Knock it off. Knock it off. Yeah, I ain't want to put my hands on y'all tonight, but I had to. Knock it off, yo. That ain't it. That ain't it. Change your chapters up. What's your, think about this. Do some homework for me. What is your next chapter going to be? When you hit your birthday, what is this chapter going to be about? Is it going to be like chapter 24, 28, 23? Or is this going to be some brand new, a new seat? This going to be some shit like, yeah, we toned in. We want to see this. We're going to binge watch this. We believe in you. We like what's happening. Or, or are you getting rotten tomatoes? 10%, like 20%, two, two tomato. I don't know how they score, but yeah, come on. That's what I'm talking about. And if you like what I'm doing, man, um, if you go back and watch my reaction, my masterful observations, I don't even call them reactions no more because they are masterful and I feel like I am the only one that can do them um, as, as well as I do them. So go back, go through my playlist, masterful observations, watch how I watch and, you know, review some of these things I'm watching, kind of react to. I can't know what to say. I'm reacting to it. Okay. You got me. Um, but. Like, subscribe. If um if, if if I spit one bar here today, subscribe. If I spit one bar here today, like it. If I spit one bar here that was really or a couple bars, comment. That's all I'm asking. That's all you gotta do. Um, it's free, I believe. I don't think YouTube will charge you to do that. You know, and if it um if it does cost, uh, I'll pay for it. Yeah, you know I mean, I got you. I'll pay for it. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, master for observations and uh, the books, man. What's your book going to be about? Go figure out what your book going to be about. You got to. Because regardless whether you like it or not, it's being written. It's being written whether you like it or not. Until that fucking book is done. And put up on that shelf. Who is going to come and pull your 
That's another point. Who is going to come and pull your book out that shelf? There's a lot of books we do pull off that shelf to read about them and see how great they thought and what they done and what they accomplished and all that stuff. But most of the people don't get they, they, they books don't get put, but picked back up. They get lost on that shelf in that library. They never come off that shelf. Nobody ever reads them. Family may read them, but may not read them. You understand? So be special out here. Be timeless. That's what I'm saying. Be timeless. Believe in yourself. Believe you got this. You can do it. Just like I had to recognize I could. And I know y'all can. If y'all, y'all put to it like, yo, y'all can do the same thing. Y'all can get it just as easy as anybody else. And when I'm talking about get it, I ain't just talking about money. I'm talking about peace. Happiness. It's going to take, what it takes is a lot of uh, realizing what's really important. Sometimes you, you're you're jealous you don't have it yet. Then you go get it just to realize you don't even need it. That's the three stages of everything. I'm telling you, for a lot of things that you want, that's the three stages for everything you want. First, you feel like you got a fear of missing out, FOMO. So then you go get it. Then it makes you happy. And then you get so much of it. And then it's like, damn, spent, after you spent invested so much in it, you're like, damn, this was nothing. I don't even need it no more. That's the three. And then you own something else. Something else you attracted to that you thought you needed. Yeah, that's the three stages of need, bro, before it's over with. I don't know what I'm going to call that, but that is it right there. You want it. You get it. Then the graduation is realizing you don't need it no more. It's not. It I, I'm, It holds no weight when it comes to a certain thing. You know, like peace and happiness. And what would you put peace and happiness as? But you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because everybody's peace and happiness is different. I can't say everybody's the same. That's why I try not to generalize everybody. I think for both sides of the people. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs>